In certain birds, yellow feathers, little g, are recessive to green feathers, big G. And short beaks, little l, are recessive to long beaks, big L. A bird with genotype, little g, little g, big L, little l, is crossed with a bird with genotype, big G, little g, big L, little l. What percentage of offspring are expected to have yellow feathers and long beaks? So the first thing I want to do is make sure that I can identify the genotype of both of the parents in this cross. And so I can see they have given me both of them. I've got little g, little g, big L, little l, and big G, little g, big L, little l. So now I'm ready to make my Punnett squares. And because I have two traits, I'll have two Punnett squares. So my first Punnett square is going to be about feather color. So my first bird is homozygous recessive, so little g, little g. And my second bird is heterozygous, so big G, little g. And now I can fill it in. And my second Punnett square is going to be about beak length. So my first bird is heterozygous, and my second bird is also heterozygous. So now I can fill it in. And let's look at our question. What percentage of offspring are expected to have yellow feathers and long beaks? Well, yellow feathers is the recessive trait, and so I need the birds to be homozygous recessive if they're going to have yellow feathers, and I can see that these two boxes are homozygous recessive offspring, and that would be 50% since I've got two boxes. And long beaks. So I've got long beaks. So long beaks are the dominant trait. So as long as they have at least one dominant allele, they'll end up with a long beak. And so those three boxes all show offspring that have at least one dominant allele, and so three boxes would be 75%. So to figure out the percentage of offspring that will have yellow feathers and long beaks, I take the percentage I get from each Punnett square and I multiply them. So 50% times 75%. So it's important that when you put that in your calculator, you know how to do that. You're probably going to want to put it in 0.50 times 0.75 if you don't have a percent button that you can use. And so you'll get that answer when you type that in. It'll say 0.375, but we always move the decimal twice, and so that tells us that 37.5% of the offspring will have yellow feathers and long beaks.